Hey guys, what pumps do you use on your inflatable kayaks? And if you get in trouble out there and you're in a large body of water and you can't get to the banks anywhere, what do you use to keep air in your chambers while you're getting back to shore? Good question. We're going to talk about that right now. Hello and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, today we're going to talk about something that crossed my mind the other day and I'm in my off season right now so this is when I make changes and add different things or take away things of what I do on my inflatable kayaks and a thought crossed my mind that has never occurred to me before because all of my advanced elements over the last three and a half years have never ever failed me on the water. When I thought the other day, I said, I'm out pretty much all by myself, most of the time in some really weird places. And what if I have an occasion to lose air in one of the main chambers and I can't get to the banks or uh, get to land real easy? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna inflate that kayak and keep air in that whilst I get to where I need to be to get out of the boat and find out what the problem is. Now again, all my kayaks are advanced elements and I've never had a failure, but that thought did cross my mind. So I started researching a company called K-Pumps and I had almost decided on the K-Pump Mini, I guess they're out of Washington, I believe, or Oregon, um, and I was almost sold on the K-Pump, except they didn't have the right adapter for the military spring valve, so I'd have to MacGyver something to make it work. And the other thing was, it's a vertical pump. Now, I got that information from my friends at Advanced Elements. I sent them a message and asked them about the K-Pump and if they had any experience with that, and Clay, the owner, came back to me and says, hey, Dale, he says, when you're in the kayak and you can't get to the banks or the shoreline, that pump is a vertical pump. So how are you gonna be able to get back and pump that thing vertically while in your kayak or while on water? And you know, that was a good point. So what he brought up to me was the bellows pumps that they, they make, and, and you can get bellow pumps anywhere, but the Advanced Elements bellows pumps and the pack light is what he suggested for me and he said, hey, Dale, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and send you down the bellows pump and the pack light pump. Now, the bellows pump, and this is the bellows pump right here. You can see it's a pretty good size pump. So this does sit behind the seat of my Sport, my 1044, uh, my Elite, and the Tandem. So, you know, this pushes a lot of volume, but it's big. It's a beast. Now, when I unpacked the pack light, I was really really happy about the size and the way he explained for me to use that if I'm on the water somewhere is to spin around in your kayak if you can't get to the bank or shoreline spin around in your kayak now I have high pressure floors so I can do that without any problem and attach the military spring valve adapter to the back bladder what they suggested for me to do is to Take the pack light, have it preset like this, and it has a little locking string right here. So you can push it down and lock it into place like this. And then take this, just like it is, and put it behind the seat on my sport. So if I do get in trouble out there, all I need to do is spin around and attach the military spring valve adapter and spin back around and pump it using my hands like this. Now granted, the pack light doesn't push as much volume as the bellows pump does. So I think their suggestion of having this thing pre-rigged before I go out is a great idea. And we're gonna test this right now to see how well it fits 
behind the seat of the sport. You can see how easily that sits pre-rigged, set it behind my seat, and I still have some more storage room for stuff. Uh, so it would take care of my uh, thoughts about if I get in trouble out there, how am I going to add air to my kayak if I can't get to land real quick. So what I want to do is thank Clay and all my friends at Advanced Elements for the information and hooking me up with these two bellows pumps. And I'm thinking that what I'll do is when I'm in the Elite or on the tandem convertible, I'll use the, the big bellows pump. And if I'm in the sport of the 1044, I'll use the pack light. But it does take that thought. If I'm all by myself out there in a large body of water and I start losing air, this will take care of that problem and then allow me to paddle back to shore and uh, take care of the situation. One thing you want to make sure, regardless of what inflatable kayak you own or subboard, regardless of the brand, every one of their bladders have a max PSI rating. So regardless of what pumps you use, make sure that it has a PSI gauge on it. So, you know, when you're looking at the kayak or you're brand new into getting an inflatable kayak, take the time to find out what the max PSI rating is and just stay a hair under it. Especially if you're in hot weather, stay about uh, half a pound or a quarter of a pound reduced because in the hot the air will expand the chamber. If you're maxed out or you went a little bit over, you could bust that bladder and you're gonna be in big trouble on the water. So keep that in mind. And so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what pumps I use and you guys can make a decision on what you wanna do from there. So we'll be back in just a minute. Well, hey guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about the pumps that I use and give you the reasons why I use them. but. In no way am I saying that is the only pumps out there for your inflatable kayaks and subboards. There's a lot of pumps out there. What I'd like to do is to give you the information of the pumps I use to get me on the water fast and safely as far as the pressure ratings and stuff like that and how I do it. It's not that big a deal. So first off, the first thing I use is a Savior programmable pump and it's a 12 volt system and I have an adapter for uh, 110 if I'm at a hotel or uh, I'm at a, uh, a river house right there where I can use AC power to do it or I can plug it straight into the back of my truck and get that all fired up. Uh, this is programmable. It's about a pound off on its rating. So when I fill the sport, for instance, on this one right here, I would set this for 2.75 and it comes right about 1.75 roughly. And that's where I want to be, especially in the hot summer months because of the expansion. But this is what I use here. And it also comes with the flexible hose. It did not have the military spring valve adapter. So I'm going to leave a link down below in the information on how I MacGyvered this system to use or to add the uh, military spring valve adapter for advanced element kayaks to this particular pump. It also comes with a high pressure hose and it came with the high pressure floor valve uh, with it so I didn't have to put mine on there and it works perfectly. And so when I set this up I do the same thing. I like this to set at about uh, four pounds for my floor so I set this for five and it's pretty much right on. But that's what I use for my uh, preliminary inflation. And to finish off the PSI ratings and raise the deck lifts and the combing valves and whatever other valves that are required on the boat that I'm taking out, I always use my dual action advanced elements pump with gauge. And that's the main element. It's got the gauge so I can stay within the specs and not have to worry about splitting a bladder out there by just overfilling it. Now I've seen uh, there's a few companies out there that produce an inflatable kayak and they give you this clear plastic card and you have to make the lines line up with the side of the bladder when you have the proper amount of air. That scares the heck out of me because I'm in Florida waters where a lot of gators and alligator gars and cottonmouth and all kinds of neat critters that could definitely put a hurt on me. So that was out of the question. I want to be able to 
regulate how much air I put in and be able to see how much air I put in. So when I finish with my uh, programmable pump, I go ahead and I check the main chambers, bring it up to two PSI, and then the same thing with the floor. I make sure that's at my, where I have it, and it's always at five pounds. And then I raise the deck lifts and stuff using the appropriate adapters right here that get me where I want to go. So this is what I use. There are other options out there, but regardless of what you uh, get, make sure you have an inline uh, PSI gauge to use with these things. Now, this particular one is the Advanced Elements Bellows Pump. This thing pushes a lot of air. Um, easily to, to assemble, just screw it in and basically set it on the floor. And I'll do it here like this and just pump it up. And then make sure you have that inline PSI gauge right here because you got to see how much air you're putting into that. And if you put too much in, you will split that bladder and you're going to be in trouble out there. Another way to go is the, it says the advanced elements uh, pack light. Now the pack light doesn't push as much air, but this is great for you to put in the back of your boats as we talked about previously in this video. It has all the appropriate fittings you need to make sure that you uh, be able to replenish the air you lost or whatever the case may be, or at least give you the uh, peace of mind to get yourself to the shore in a safe manner. So this is a great one, fits behind the seat, no problem. Same thing with the big bellows pump. It also sits behind the seat. So this is a great idea also. So hey guys, we are gonna wrap this thing up. We hope the information that I gave you today uh, gives you some more insight on some of the best ways to inflate your pump. We talked about the K-Pump, which is a great pump. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're, you have a sub board, they have that great big monstrous thing, but they are expensive. Then you have the Advanced Elements Dual Action with gauge pump. Now, I swear by this pump. Um, some people were telling me that they were having some failures out there. Um, I've never had a failure out there with any of my pumps. They all work great. The other one is the, my programmable air pump just saves me a lot of time. Now, I'm not getting any younger, guys. I'll be 70 years old here coming up in September. So this saves me a lot of grief and uh, keeps me from getting all aired out and pumping, especially if I'm doing that big convertible. Oh my God, that's got nine air valves in it and I'd be dying. I mean, it's terrible. But since I picked up this programmable air pump and MacGyvered that fitting to work on the military spring valves, and again, I'll leave the link for that video in the description. Uh, but that's a great addition. I just made that last year and it has saved me so much time. I'm able to sit back, drink my coffee while this thing's inflating and then top it off using the dual action with gauge. And now uh, with the recent addition of the bellows pump and the pack light pump, um, I'm feeling that this really covers everything I'll need to be able to put these things away and do what I got to do. I want to personally thank my friends over there at Advanced Elements for hooking me up with those two bellows pumps. And I've determined that the pack light is going to be used on my Sport and my 1044. Fits really nice behind the seat. I've got plenty of room to add other stuff. I can preset it up. Uh, there are instructions on how I could do that with the high pressure floors. I should have no problem of getting up and spinning around and attaching that if I'm in a large body of water and I cannot get to a shoreline. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna use the big bellows pump for is if I'm taking out the Advanced Elements Convertible or the Advanced Elements Elite. Bigger boats need to push more volume of air. And again, my thanks to all the guys at Advanced Elements for all their support and everything they've done uh, in support of their product. Their customer service is top notch, guys. So before we get out of here, I wanna thank everybody for watching. I hope this information was informative to you. Um, there's a lot of pumps out there on the market. I'm not saying which is good, which is bad. I'm just saying what works for me. And on my Advanced Elements Kayak, they got that special military spring valve adapter. That's the one thing that you gotta have to make it work correctly on your Advanced Element Kayaks. So you can MacGyver one of the fittings, which I did. I'll leave a link in the description 
that shows you how I MacGyvered that for my programmable air pump. And so, hey, we'll see you on the next one.